Hello to all my lively ladies. You're very welcome to today's strength training workout. Now let's get ourselves warmed up here. I'm just crossing the leg over the body here, getting those tummy muscles warmed up right from the get-go, lifting those arms out to the side. Now we have 12 exercises today and we're going to repeat them for a second round. So it's a 24 minute workout and then you can include warm up with that. 15.45 is our sequence today. So 15 just to allow us to transition or have a little break and 45 seconds to do the work. Now I am including a water break today just because I feel with strength it's good to have that little moment or two to yourself just allow the wrists and the grip strength to relax as well let's do four here three two one hold the feet out about shoulder distance and stretch across good feel a lovely stretch there coming into the trunk and the torso there the torso good now what you'll need today is I have a selection of weights because some of the exercises you may feel like you have to change down for particularly with triceps um, also a mat, we, I will be going to the floor and I left it to the last three exercises so that we're not getting up and down. If you don't want to go to the floor, you can do an upright chest press. We're going to the floor for chest press, so upright chest press, okay? Don't go too heavy with that, it's a little bit more tricky upright than lying on the floor. You can try doing it on a bed, you know, if you have a firm mattress, your bed actually does make a good, sort of like a, a weight bench nearly. Um, then we're going to do bear crawl rows. Now don't worry if you can't, if you don't want to do bear crawl rows, you'll find they're too tricky. You can sit on a chair and just do some seated rows instead. Okay, that's your version. And even the bear crawl rows, you, you can come, go down onto your knees and try rowing that way. And then we have some dips, some body weight dips on the floor. Doesn't, and just, just because it's body weight doesn't mean it's going to be easy. If you don't want to do the dips on the floor, you can try doing dips on your chair, You're just putting your hands on the seat of the chair and dipping down, legs out in front. But just be careful of that one. I find that one sometimes you might, may overextend your shoulders a little bit. So just be careful of that one. And if you don't want to do that, you can come up and do an upright uh, extension there. Okay, let's do four more here. Three, two, and one. All right, let's open up the legs, swim those arms. So you can do an upright tricep extension if you don't want to do the chair version or go to the floor. So there are, there's always lots of options to do, so you're never ruled out. Good, swim those arms and swim. This is wonderful, getting all those little rotator muscles worked. Good, keep that chest up for me now. Well done, keep your air coming in and out. We're starting off with a push press, one of my favorite strength training exercises. And the reason why I love it is because if you have weak shoulders or you have a heavier pair of dumbbells that you never use, try it with push press because we're going to be using the legs a little bit to help actually push. There's where it gets the name, push the weights above your head and then you press your arms above your head and the legs are helping the shoulders somewhat. So you, you might be able to use heavier weights with that one. Last two, and last one. Let's stretch across. Good, back to the center. Belly button in now before you do any. Stretches across, good. I don't want to hold the stretches for any length of time. We leave that to our cool downs. Just keep the body moving here because you will cool down quickly. That's it, good. And across. Well done, that's another advantage of exercising consistently, consistently and regularly. The body does cool down very quickly once you're done, or once you stop moving. It just becomes more of an efficient machine in many, many ways. Good, and getting you cool is just a one, another way that it, it becomes very efficient. Well done, and over, and over. Now have a chair around today as well because you may need it for some of the exercises, okay? So we're starting off with the push press. Now I do have a couple of back lunges or rear lunges as I like to call them 
if you don't want to do any type of lunges you can just try and do a step back or even you might be able to go down a little bit lower and as well as that you can always put a chair to one side to help you with your lunges okay it really really does help it's something i used to do all the time training people all right will we go for it okay so we're starting off i want you to do some uh, little ankle rotations there little stationary walks just to warm up the ankles and the calves Okay, we haven't got a, a specific calf exercise today, so we can get some here. Um, what was I saying there? Yeah, so we keep going there with that. So the first exercise is the push press. Good. Well done, we'll just get a few of these out and then we'll get going, okay? So mix and match your weights, okay? So you may you may want to go heavier or go lighter. So if you, ha if you have that, um, luxury <laughs> have those uh, weights around okay all right good work now we are doing back rows today and the palms will face the body rather than going out to the side okay just again mixing up the back rows for you all right i'll talk you through all this as we go rather than trying to fit it all in now okay let's get going 15 seconds all right now I'm going to go a little bit heavier with the push press. Like I say, the legs are helping out the upper half. Now before we start, let's get our bodies ready. Engage your tummy muscles. Head is held high to the ceiling and a little push and press over the head. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Good, sit down a little bit. You're not going into a deep squat. It's just a little push of the legs and then a press over the head and using the breathing. Breathe in, hold it, breathe out. Good work. Now we're on inner thigh lifts next. So three of those and then into that back lunge that I was talking about there. Good. Keep going, feeling the shoulders burning now. Well done. Now you can choose what weight you want to use here, one heavier, two lighter, but we've got three inner thigh lifts. Make sure you rotate your toe there a little bit of your foot, then put the two feet down and then into one back lunge, okay? So let's go with that one. One, two, three, two feet together into that back lunge, good, or step back if you're not able to go into those deep bends of the knee. So take your time with it. We've two rounds, so we're not going to rush it. One, put your foot down for balance. Two, and three. Make sure you've got some space behind you there. One, two, feeling the inner thighs working. And then we hit the glutes, hamstrings, and your quads uh, with the back lunge. Let's get that lunge in. Well done. Okay, now we have the other side to do. Now, if you want more reps, you don't need to rest. You can go for it. And you can hold one, like I was saying, one heavy dumbbell out in front, or you can switch it to two lighter ones. Okay, let's go for it. Any second, one. Rotate that foot. Two, you'll really feel the in, inside of your leg working. If you rotate, get that balance. One, two, three down good one two three now we've more glute work coming next it's our hip extensions one with a tricep push back now i'm going to go down to my lighter weights because of the triceps good one two three and back one come on let's get this done two three will we get that lunge in just on the beep okay now hip extensions again you're just extending the leg behind you and the arms are going in the same direction okay you can join me now if you want to here we go there's the beep and squeeze out those glutes push those arms back that's it good round two I'll give the blue weights a go. They're about seven pounds. These are about two here. They're a little bit light for me, these ones, but 
So I, I, it's a big jump from two pounds up to seven, but we'll give it a go. Good. Now we have some side lunges next. A nice combination move coming next, hitting lots of muscle groups. So we're into a side lunge, just focusing on one side, we'll do the other side next. Uh, into a knee raise and reach up. You leave out the reach up if you don't want to do it. Now I'm going to go with a heavier weight. So we're going to step out to the side, knee up and reach. You can put your foot down at any point where here, knee and reach. Okay, anytime you need to rebalance or regain balance, put your foot down. That's no harm at all. Side lunge and reach up. If you find this exercise too difficult, just stay with a side lunge. You can do a little side step and a little reach down if you want to. That's it, good. Down. Reach up. Down. Reach up. Down. And reach. It's wonderful strength, full body strength here. Really hitting that upper half. Inner thighs there, your groin. Good. I'm going to just get that last bit in. Okay, excellent. Now, other side. So you're going to be stepping or lunging out to the side. And in between, you can get calf work done. You don't have to stand still. Okay, let's go. Reach down. Knee and up. Down. And up. working on that balance as well. And of course, you're really going to switch on your tummy muscles with the balance moves. So really here, you can feel your abdominals tensing up as you raise that foot and that dumbbell over your head. Good. And reach. Now we have the back rows coming next. I'm mixing it up a little bit today. It will look the same, except we're rotating the palms to face the body. All will be revealed any second now. Good work. Okay, now we'll go heavier with this one. Okay, now again, sticking your bottom out behind you. You notice the palms are not facing each other, they're facing my body. And then we're just gonna row back. Extra few reps here if you wanna get started early. That's it, good. And row. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Good. Now the next exercise, we're going to squat down and then we're going to do a bicep curl while we're in the squatted position. It's quite challenging. Really working the biceps as well, obviously the biceps, but the bottom and the legs. Now, if you can't do it, you can sit in a chair or do a bicep curl, stand up and repeat. Good. Come on, bring those shoulder blades together there for me. Excellent work. Now, if it's just, I'll just show you the chair version. So you want to sit down, make sure the chair is not gonna move, do a bicep curl, and then stand up and repeat, okay? Down on the floor, we're just gonna do a curl, a bicep curl here. Pull the weights out in front, and curl, stand up, and repeat. Curl those weights up, curl them down, and repeat. Make sure you're getting both portions of the bicep curl up and down slowly. Stand up. Curl down and up. Sit down. Curl down and up. That's it. Good. Curl down. Stand tall. Nearly there now. A little bit more flexible as I go through the move and there we are okay now I'm gonna switch down with the next one okay we're doing a slam so dumbbell arm slam up onto the shoulders knee and knee so we're getting nice standing abdominal work here knee knee good slam knee now the next three exercises are down on the floor. Remember, you don't have to come to the floor if you don't want to. One, two, 
down. Good. One, two, and one, two. Excellent. So stay focused for the last few seconds, squeezing those tummy muscles as that knee drives up and down and one and two excellent okay right i leave those there we get our mat so we're going down to the floor for the chest press remember you can do an upright chest press you don't have to come to the floor okay now lower yourself down vertebrae by vertebrae relax that neck and down good work now as you know working your chest down on the floor you can just lift that little bit more weight at center of gravity so kind of taken out of it now the floor actually protects you from overextending your shoulder joint or your elbow joint if you're working up on an exercise step you'll get more range of movement but you run that risk of overextending those joints so just be careful good now we have those bear crawl rows next <laughs> they are challenging at the best of times. Okay, you can use it a mat if you want to. Now if you don't want to come to the floor to do bear crawl rows, you can just get on your chair and do some seated rows, okay? Now anyone that really wants to challenge themselves, you can come up onto your knees, and, or sorry, off your knees and row the weights. If you want, if that's too hard, if you just put your knees on a mat, try, if you're on a wooden floor, you'll need a mat and row back okay and row these are really hard it's great tummy exercise good bring your belly button to your spine try not to rock your hips and row and row now we're down to the dips next if you want to do the dips on the chair i'll show you the chair version quickly or you can do your like i showed you there at the beginning of the workout beginning of the video you can do tricep extensions well done okay now nice body weight move next okay you can use the chair for dips if you don't want to come to the floor so you sit come to the edge of the chair scooch yourself off and down dip up and down make sure you don't uh, overly stretch those shoulders if you want to uh, challenge yourself a little bit down on the floor okay we're just doing our dips on the floor good use a mat if you need to well done up and down or you have it, an option of doing your tricep extensions upright and you can use two lighter weights or one heavier weight I like the one one heavier weight for the tricep extensions I just feel the elbows stay locked in place better with it good and straighten that arm bend straighten now we're back we're gonna have a little water break and then back to push press okay and there you go and you made it to the end of round one excellent work okay let's switch off our beepers now i don't know about you my wrists do need a break after that and i need a little drink of water so i will see you back here for round two welcome back now let's get going with round two 15 seconds now to start our push press you can start if you want to now and get a couple more reps in get a few bonus exercises Pull your belly button in, rest the weights up on your shoulders. We're gonna push those legs, press above our head. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. Breathe out. Excellent work. Really using that breath now to help you lift that weight above your head. Good. Nearly there now, come on, last 10 seconds. You can really feel the shoulders burning by the end of round one, the first round. Feeling it again now here, round two. Well done, glad to hear that beep. All right, now we have our inner thigh work. All right, we start on the left this time. So three, and then we're into that back lunge, okay? Or stepping back, or maybe even putting the chair to one side, whatever side 
you're not kicking the leg out too. You could hold the chair here, you can leave the weight down, hold the chair at this side, and it might help you increase your range of movement with your lunges. Put some weights on it, just so it doesn't move. That's it, and back. I always find, this is why I love doing two rounds of strength. I find my flexibility so much better here with the leg kicks, and I find my balance is so much better with the back lunge. That's it, good and down and one and two and three really contracting that leg as it comes up to the top of the move and we'll leave it at that and we'll move on to the other leg okay let's get ourselves ready engaging the tummy muscles that's it retracting the shoulder blades let's get ready four seconds okay let's go one we'll take the foot Two feet together, back lunge. Good. One, two, three, down, excellent. One, two, three, good. And into your lunge. One, two, and with our hip extensions now, I committed myself to the heavier weight for the tricep extensions. I'm gonna give that a go. And back lunge, good. And we get one more, two, three, and we'll finish the lunge. Excellent work, okay. So we're gonna extend the hip behind. If you want to leave out tricep work, maybe do it separately, that's an option. Just focus on your hip extension. You can do, always do it at the end. I do these exercises to save time, just to try and fit um, as many moves into our short amount of time as possible. But if, if you prefer to separate them out, that is an option. You can do some triceps at the end. We have triceps coming up again with our dips, the last exercise. Good. Squeeze your bottom. Squeeze and squeeze. And these weights are fine. I could have used them round one. Push back, push back. They provide great mobility for the shoulders as well. That extra bit of weight. Excellent, brilliant. Now we have the side lunge. Okay, you can go with one or two weights. I like it doing it one. I, well, actually, no, we're doing it over the head, so one is best. Two feet together. Okay, let's get ready. Side lunge and over the head. If you weren't doing the over the head portion of it, you might be able to use two weights. Good. And up. Over. You could hold one out here in your hand. Sometimes I do that when I'm doing exercises. It, it just adds that little bit of extra intensity if you hold another weight in your other hand. Good. And down. And really feeling how much more flexible the body is, round two. Good, reach up. And reach up, good. Might get one more, can we sneak one more in? There you go, excellent work. Okay, now we're going this direction and if you want to start, you're welcome to. Okay, then we're into our back rows. Ah, keeping the feet moving, heart rate's up, and up, and across, and reach, well done, reach up, and over, and reach, good, and reach, remember you can put your foot down there if you need to regain balance, that's it, Keep going, reach up, and up. Well done, feeling very, very stretched here. A couple more seconds. Lift it up, getting good, some good shoulder work here with this one as well. Good, nice one, that one. Now we have our back rows. Okay, let's get ourselves ready for that one. That one really got me breathless, can feel my, hear my, Hear the heart beating and feel the breath. Okay, stick 
your bum out behind you. Palms facing the body. Good, relax that neck. That's it, good. Pretend you've got an imaginary seat behind you there. And row back, and you can always sit in a chair for this. If you find holding this position for close to a minute difficult. Row back, and row. Bring those shoulder blades there behind you. Good. Squeeze, release. Long arms down, nice and slowly. Good. Nice and slowly. Excellent work. We've got our squats now next with the bicep curl. Okay. That was challenging round one. Let's give it a go again. All right. Again, we can be getting calf raises in here while we wait for our beeper, or you can get an extra few reps if you want to be efficient with your time. All right, sit down, curl, and up. You could even get a calf raise in here if you want to sneak one in. And down, up, calf raises, squat down, curl, down, up, calf raise. Bottom down, keep that chest up for me. Do that curl up and do the curl down. Important to get both sides of it up, both sections down, up, 10 seconds. Good, one, two, and up, and down, curl, down, and up. Good, adding that little calf raise is a good idea. You could really feel that working. Now the arm slams are next. All right, arms are fatigued now, round two. Okay, you can get some more calf raises in there. If you want to get one or two in, You're probably tired now after doing them there with the squats. Down, and crunch, and crunch. Good, crunch, and crunch. And bring that rib cage. To that knee, feeding the tummy, working hard. Good, now we're on to our floor work next. And remember your modifications if you're not coming to the floor. You can even try your push up at the wall where you just place your hands on the wall or a door. Bring your face towards the door. Okay, that's another option. Right, let's head to the floor. Okay. Now, all right, so we'll see if we can get a, some nice, good quality reps out here. Okay, you can do your upright chest press if you want to. And down. Press and down. <clears throat> good, bring the dumbbells close to each other at the top and then open. Good. And down. Breathe out on the way up, in on the way down. Good, now we have our bear crawl next. Excellent, come on, keep going. Push up and back down. And back down. Excellent, that was good. Now don't forget, you can do your bear crawl on your knees if you want to. You don't have to be coming up and you can try it like this. You can sit in your chair and do seated back rows, or you can come up on your toes. That's it. Now, if you have those dumbbells that's, that kind of are rounded, I just need to come to the floor for this. I find the mat moves too much on me. Okay. Up we go. And row. But those dumbbells that roll, they're a little bit tricky for, for um, a row like this, a renegade row as we call it. Really feel your tummy working. You can try doing it with the dumbbells on a mat like that or towels to stop them from rolling, but they are a little bit difficult in that position. That's why I like these ones that kind of have little grooves in them and they sit on the floor neatly. Ooh, feeling the burn. Good. Are you feeling the abs working? Excellent. Okay, now last move. We're down onto the floor for triceps. Okay. Remember your tricep options, triceps options. 
chair version. Be careful you're not overextending or over the head. Tricep extension. That's the one we do quite regularly here with our strength workouts. Good. And down. Good work. And reach. Really feeling this now. And if you enjoyed today's strength workout, don't forget to leave a thumbs up because that really does let me know that you are enjoying the strength workouts in particular. It also lets YouTube know you're enjoying the workouts too. That's all good for the channel. And thank you so much for giving me your likes. I appreciate everyone. There you go. You're feeling the burn in the back of your arm. Good work. Double thumbs up to you. Excellent job. Okay. Now, that was lovely, lovely, lovely workout. Arms are really feeling like they've been put through their paces. So they have those last few exercises. Okay, let's do a little stretch before we leave. Just in case you're feeling like you need a little, little bit of a stretch. So we'll just bring that elbow, the arm across the front of the body. Pat yourself on the back here. Okay, and just gently press your palm against, not the elbow joint, but just a little bit past it. Try not to be pushing on your joints and push your elbow into your palm. So they kind of have a little bit of a tug of war there with each other. And that really brings in that lovely stretch into the shoulder here. Now then we take it on up into the tricep. So again, you're just touching your back here and pressing that elbow into the palm and gently tugging on your elbow, just gently. And you'll feel a lovely stretch making its way down to your armpit. That's your tricep you're stretching out. Good. Well done. Let's switch sides. So just bringing across and straight away you're going to feel a nice stretch there in around your shoulders. Pat yourself on the back. Good. Keep good engagement there with your abdominals. So bringing your belly button into your spine just while we finish up. And then gently pulling very, very gently on past that elbow, not so much the elbow joint. And you're going to feel an increased stretch there for your triceps. Relax your neck as much as you can in this position. Oh, that feels really, really nice. Lovely. Good work and release out of that. Let's do a little stretch for the calves. So just uh, place your foot on the floor, draw your belly button in, push your body forward. Well done. Now if you'd like a longer cool down, I will link up my cool down playlist. You'll find it in the description box right underneath the video here in, and you will find lots of um, different cool downs that you can pick ranging in different lengths and that, depending how much time you have. Two feet together, step behind. Try and make sure those toes are facing that 12 o'clock position. It's handy if you can see yourself. Good. Well done. Love to stretch out the calves. Good. And just keep pushing yourself forward. Once that tension wears off, increase your stretches. That's it. Now two feet together and we'll just, this is a little bit difficult for me with the mic pack, but interlace your fingers and lift your hands up behind you. That's it, good. Get ready now, we're gonna drop the head gently down. Further stretching, you might want to open your legs a little wider, bend your knees slightly and further stretching into that shoulder joint. Good, excellent work. And come on up and we'll just stretch across. You might want to close your legs a little bit, just see how that works for you. Tummy muscles still engaged. Good, feeling a nice stretch now from your armpit to your hip. Excellent work. Back to the center again, reset your tummy muscles. And over, nice big C shape over the body. Good work. I'd like to say a big thank you for joining me today. You did a wonderful job. Longer cool downs linked up below if you need that. And I will see you really, really soon. Have a lovely day.